Right, so I'm off to flight training today. I'm super motivated. I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that I have when I go flying. First off, I got this jacket that turns out to be like an aviator's jacket or something. And my um, instructor said that it is and he likes it, but that's kind of cool. And then I got this thing. Uh, this is a knee board. This is where you put your iPad on here that gives you your maps and everything in terms of telling you where to go. This is how you measure how much gas you have in the tank. A lot of um, pilots that the pilots that um that have engine failure or crashes usually it's because they didn't check their gas properly. They ran out of gas, which easy to keep up with. This is my log book. This is where I log all the hours I spend in the air, what I was doing, my different maneuvers, trips, all that. Uh, once I fill up that log book with 40 hours of flying, I'm eligible to take my pilot's exam. Uh, this is the communications headset. So communication is really important. You have to um, get on what they call the common traffic uh, advisory frequency to um, let other pilots in the area know that you're landing, even if there's not a tower at the airport. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So anyway, uh, today I'm going to fly. I finally got comfortable with landing. Um, I did a bunch of landings. Uh, I did more studying on landing. I've been studying the stuff consistently. Uh, I cannot wait. I'm going to take my first flight to visit my mama in Kentucky. Uh, that's going to be my celebratory flight. And uh, I'm more determined than ever to get this thing done and i'll admit i feel like a sense of like excitement and pride um i'll admit <laughs> getting my phd was actually probably a little more you know uh, exciting because it took so many years to do it but this makes me feel really good i'm really proud i'm super uh it's super cool to kind of do something new you know like if, if especially for those of you that are over 40 um i encourage you to consider reinventing yourself every five years or so do something totally different you know to challenge your mind to learn a new skill that you didn't have before like um you know for me i learned how to play video games again and so now i'm actually kind of a gamer i play call of duty um i got it took an interest in race car driving took an interest in flying airplanes um lost a lot of weight you know started working out more just these little things kind of keep life interesting um, and uh, I encourage you to never let anybody put limits on you or tell you who you are or define you. It is up to you to define yourself. That's my two cents. That's what I believe. Let me get out of here. I got pilots training. Uh, just a reminder, in case you don't know, we are going to be in Los Angeles March 10th for the Black Wealth Boot Camp. Two days of intense Black Wealth training <clears throat> related to my new book. It's called The Ten Commandments of Black Economic Power. So just go to boyswalkins.com if you'd like to learn more. And also, uh, there's a training I put together called How to Make Money Without Working. You can take a look at that. Um, most wealthy people make their money without working. So. Today we did a couple more hours of flying and I um, got my first experience flying at a more heavily trafficked airport, Lewis University, not too far from here. There was a lot more air traffic. <clears throat> there was a tower, so that requires more communication with the tower. To enter it into a uh, bigger airport's airspace, you have to get permission to go into the airspace. And if you don't get permission, that's a problem. You also have to call back uh, their instructions in terms of how they tell you to land, where to go. He also showed me um, what are called short field landings, sorry, sorry, soft field landings, soft field landings, where uh, if you're taking off on a soft field and you don't want your gear to get tied down into the field, you have to uh, sort of change your um, your takeoff speed and takeoff uh, angle so that you can um, get off the ground faster. And then the thing is because you're taking off faster, you have to pick up your airspeed in a different way to make sure you don't come back to the ground, of course. So uh, learning, getting better every day. I uh, got a lot more confidence. We navigated the airports about 10 miles away and uh, I'm getting more confident every day. Did several landings today, feeling very comfortable landing. Still working on the basics of, you know, uh, keeping all the dynamics together for landing, but getting there, getting there every day. I'm gonna get this, gonna get this thing done.